Dr. Fry, and welcome to a new year. I tell you, can you believe we've been on the air now for two months? Amazing. <laughs> Actually, just the show's been here for two months. As you know, WLFT and MeTV has been around now for about a year and a half, and uh, people write in all the time. Uh, a lovely lady here, Jenny Farquhar. No, Farq. F A R Q U E. Farquhar? You, you people have these weird names down here. Sorry, I'm not from here. In Kansas, we're a neutral state. But anyway, uh, she wrote in to us and says uh, that she watches on Cox. And I am staying in a hotel in Baton Rouge for a while, traveling home every weekend. One thing I've enjoyed is being able to watch my old favorites on your channel. Now the channel is gone. And I believe this happened in another town that I was uh, working in. Why does the channel keep disappearing? Well, Jenny, that's called messing with us. No. <laughs> the cable industry is really changing. As you know, if you've been watching cable television for the last 10, 15 years, you went from 20 channels to 50 channels to now 200 channels. As they do that, they come up with these box devices that you keep having to put in your home, and then you subscribe because prices go up. Remember, over 40% of your cable bill goes to ESPN. So we hope you like sports programming because that's what you're paying for. And with that, us little channels that just provide a little entertainment and some community news, we get bumped to different levels. So we apologize that we're no longer on 17. We're now on 117. But if you will get a cable box for about $60 a month from the lovely people at Cox, you can tune in. But always remember, pass it on to your friends. We are free over the air on 30.1. Right now, let's talk about a lady that is trying to help people that, uh, um, let me tell you, I had a grandmother that had this uh, unfortunate thing in the past, but it's come a long way, and she's going to share some information with us. Her name is Dana Taritas, Torito? Torito. Hey, I said it right. She's with the Alzheimer's Services of the Capital Area. So, welcome to the show, Dana. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're originally from? I'm Corpus originally from Christi, Corpus Texas. Christi, Texas. You look like a Texas girl. <laughs> thank you. just got you. that beauty about them. It's like, hello, I'm well, from Texas. thank you. Thank you all. Th th thank you for bringing <laughs> it down to Baton Rouge. Yes. I tell you. appreciate yes. it. So how long have you been with the Alzheimer's organization? Uh, I've been on the payroll for four years, but volunteering since 1995. What touched your heart and got you involved? Actually, my volunteer work at a nursing home, I got attached a companion, a lady with Alzheimer's, um, for 22 years. Wow. And so it got me involved in this wonderful organization and with people uh, with the disease because they really don't have a voice. They, they lose their memory, so they can't tell us their needs. So. What is your purpose? What, what, what do you do now? What, 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 what are you trying to tell the people here at home? Trying to, our mission is to help those in our community affected by the disease. And so we work, you know, just so passionately for those caregivers and their loved ones with Alzheimer's disease and dementia. You know, there's a joke around uh, many of the circles that I've been in where they say, you know, they, I can't remember, I say, oh, you got part-timers. Right. But actually, I was reading a study that that's an early sign. It could be. The, um, of course, if you go to a doctor or a neurologist, they're going to eliminate all the other factors, maybe depression or hypertension, until they get to Alzheimer's, because those can cause memory loss, too. Um, but early memory loss... Forget where you put your keys, pick up your keys and can't remember what the keys go to. Well, that's that's serious. Right. So that short-term memory starts to leave you an indication of the disease. It's come a long way. What are some of the things they're doing now to help people? Oh, some of the, there's uh, over 100 drug trials in research now as far. We still have the same common drugs like Aricep and Namenda and the Exelon patch. But there's the drug trials are very slow. Um, we focus on education and awareness, uh, especially at our organization. We're local, so we go 10 parish area, and we focus on helping the caregiver through that journey. Let's talk about a person who's developing Alzheimer's, and you're, you're the child of that parent. What's the, the, 
everybody always thinks, well, I'll just keep mom at home and I will take care of her. And let her. What, what's the, the most common mistake you see happening that destroys lives? What, what are people not doing as far as reaching out for help? Well, they're not reaching out for help. I mean, exactly when they first get the diagnosis, it's kind of like a grief process. They're in denial. They're angry. They go through all these emotions. And usually we see, you know, the first call to us, it's pretty late. Um, they, they, They've really Exhausted. hesitated, you know, so they've hesitated. And so we really want that person to know we're the one-stop shop after that diagnosis, that first diagnosis, because the earlier we can get it, the earlier we can um, help them and counsel them on steps to take to plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so many little things that you need to learn that you're going to have to deal with every day. Exactly. And, uh, and it's great your organization is there. Is there a charge for your organization, a fee that you have to pay to call you? To no, find sir. Out? We have a helpline that runs every day, Monday through Friday. You can pick up the phone and call. We have uh, five program coordinators that answer your call and give you resources. We have the 36-hour day, which is our Bible for Alzheimer's, and we give that free of charge to our caregivers. We have lending libraries, educational sessions, a memory cafe for early onset, and we have Charlie's Place, which is a day respite center. What's the, the cafe you're talking about? It's called the Memory Cafe, and we just started it for early onset, those who are diagnosed before the age of 65, because they need a different support set, so to speak, than those after 65. Some of them are still working. Some of them, you know, are, are, um, are, are in a marriage that they have the income, second income for mm -hmm. the husband. So all those issues come into focus when they can no longer work, they can no longer take care of the children. Sure. So it's a Insurance, different... uh, understanding Alzheimer and helping people, or is it still a total if denial you're smart, for them? Well, if, yeah, if you're smart enough to get uh, long-term care insurance, some, some of that covers the cost. Social Security will pay for early onset um, diagnosis before 65. Good, mm -hmm. good. Well, I tell you what, it's a wonderful organization. I've heard good things about it. Thank I you. I hope people will reach out to you now and uh, and try and get the information. Can we get the information up on the screen one more time about her organization? So you got a phone number there? Yep, there it comes. Uh, Danny, I appreciate uh, Dana, rather, I appreciate you being on. 335 7494. 334. 334. That's okay. Mm -hmm. 334. But email me. And, uh, I'll fix that. Email me at WLFT. Happens all the time. We often get something that's a little right. misplaced. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that's the, uh, the, the segment on uh, Alzheimer's. And, folks, I hope you will remember to call me and find out more information about that, okay? And uh, right now we'll be back after a word from our sponsors, the people who care about a better life. Stay tuned. Two thousand twelve is an exciting year in broadcasting. WLFT has been bringing you the best in religious and family programming for over ten years. Your new digital television allows you to do a lot more, including gaming, internet, and there's over twenty free TV stations you can now pick up over the air. Soon there'll be over thirty channels here in Baton Rouge, so mark the first of each calendar month to rescan your TV. Lots of free entertainment. Rescan Baton Rouge. Welcome back to A Better Life. I'm Dr. Fry, of course, and wasn't that a great segment about Alzheimer's? I definitely am going to have her back on later in the year. Welcome to 2013, our inaugural show of the year. i tell you what, and uh, I have a guest that's going to be introduced in a second that I wanted to get on last year. He wouldn't come on. He said, I'm not doing nothing until 2013. I said, okay, dude, we'll wait till 2013. You're worth waiting on. But right now, I want to thank Prairieville resident, uh, T. Reed, R-E-D-D, -D, wrote in to us and said, uh, watch your channel over uh, the antenna. I enjoy the channel and would like to see additional shows, for example, Alfred Hitchcock, Barnaby Jones, and more of the classic horror without the seven Google. Maybe a Friday night lineup of classic horror shows like Agatha Christie shows. I really like the lineup with the exception of uh, that girl. Not much one watching her. Uh, so anyway, that uh, it's great to hear from you all. I, lo I love you to write in these things, and uh, and I would appreciate if you would send us in your information uh, or your comments. And you can write to me at email me at WLFT, and uh, we will put a feature your uh, your written if it's uh, well as long as you don't say you want to change host of my show. 
Now we get to the important part, finances. I tell you, the year has started. You're sitting here going, man, tax season's right around the corner. And uh, uh, what am I going to do this year? I tell you, with me as a financial expert in the field of all types of finances, please welcome to the show, Ron Checky. Ron, welcome to the show, my friend. Hello. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Ron, how long have you been in financial advisory position? 38 years. What, what, what's your background? Did you go, was you in banking or was you a broker? Or what, what, what gave you expertise in financing? Uh, newspaper delivery. Newspaper delivery. Newspaper delivery. And how did that give you financial uh, expertise? Uh, well, I was uh, raised in a very uh, densely populated area in New Jersey. And uh, the only way to guarantee I wouldn't wear hand-me-downs of my 20 months older than me brother was to earn enough money to buy my own clothes. And in so doing, I decided at age seven that I would tell a little, age nine, I would tell a little white lie that I was 12 years old so I could carry newspapers. <laughs> and uh, I carried, I started out with a paper route with 17 customers, built it up to 133. So I had 133 newspapers I delivered and put inside people's doors. Um, I remember those days. Yeah, not, not on the front porch <laughs> right, somewhere, but in, and I'm out there in the rain, the snow, whatever. And then after I built up my own paper route, I started helping other people, other little boys, little girls then deliver newspapers at that time. You branched and, out in the newspaper business. Yes, and I made enough money to buy a new bicycle, have really nice clothes, and I actually, uh, between then and age 16, I made enough money and saved it to buy my first car. Wow. Off of newspapers. Mm -hmm. That is too wild. Yes. Too wild. All right, jump forward. What do you do today? How do you help people financially today? Well, the most important thing that we market today is uh, something that's very near and dear to my heart because I've seen people that have uh, perished, if you will, that didn't have life insurance. But today, uh, it is so important for a person to have adequate life insurance. And I've, uh, in addition to uh, many other things that we do, uh, we focus first in the life insurance arena because if they don't have adequate life insurance. Let's talk about life insurance then. Term versus whole term, life. Okay. Okay. What's the main difference between term and whole life? The difference between term and whole life, term insurance is like renting an apartment. Okay. And whole life is like owning the home. It can't ever be taken away from you. Term insurance will expire. Right. At one point, when it's needed most, in most cases, it's not there. So most of the people that buy term insurance never collect? The majority of people? The, the majority never, the, never collect because as the rates increase due to the mortality charge, they, um, they can't afford it and it, and it just it lapses. All right, so a whole life, you're saying that that is like an investment insurance policy it, that it, you can actually draw back from, you can borrow against? And in, in, in three ways. The first way, whole life is, is a guaranteed issue premium with a guaranteed death benefit. The variable life is, a, it is a, uh, adjusted to the stock market and universal life is a combination thereof. So it's three different whole life types of policies? Three, it's permanent. Three permanent. different permanent forms of life insurance. What, what, what are we talking for a man that's the age of 55 and wants to buy a new life insurance policy that's in good health? Um, What's a premium for whole life versus term life? Well, it, it's significantly more initially for a permanent life insurance contract, but after a number of years, three, four, five years, it builds enough equity to where it's, uh, it really does the job. Okay. So the, what, what is the actual cost? I mean, is it, I mean, a, a life insurer term, term cost, how much for a person 55 right now? Well, I, I didn't, if you had a $50,000 policy, is that um, roughly $100 a month, $30 a month? Uh, let's say $100 a month. Okay, and a whole life would cost you how much? Um, probably a couple, two times that amount. Two times, a couple hundred dollars a month. Right. Okay. And so you're paying this $200 a month. How long do you have to pay it? Does it? Is there an end to the premiums? Yes, there is an end to the premium. In many cases, they have a guaranteed death benefit and a guaranteed cash value. So the money is going to be there. Uh, today, we have a, a very unique product called um, um, indexed life insurance. 
and it, it carries uh, with it an opportunity to uh, trade different air in different areas with different in indexes. Uh, some companies have indexes available with as many as six or eight different places for the money to go. It's very interesting. So you're saying that uh, I give, it's basically like a stock market type of thing, that I'm giving you $200 a month, you're putting it in different indexes, or well, you, I select which index? You, you, you select. And then so I'm taking a gamble with it, or is it still guaranteed? Well, there's a guarantee to it, that the guaranteed base number so that uh, you don't, quote unquote, lose your money. Right. We're not in the money losing business. And these are backed by what company? Prudential, or a big company, or well, is this Bob and John, or who, who? Who's doing this? It's not Bob and John. The the, the major life insurance companies have uh, that have been around for over a hundred years. Many of them are 150 years. They all offer these different things. Yes, I got you. That was interesting. I tell you what, I want you to come back uh, later in the year and explain some more things about insurance because that went really quick. Uh, do you mind if I add one thing to it right away? One thing. you got 30 okay. seconds. Go for okay. it. Okay. Um, at this time of year, it's very important for us to understand what the word love is. And, uh, folks, if you will um, think real hard about it, that person that you've been married to for the last 25 or 30 years uh, needs some knowledge and understanding for the financial, her financial well-being and or his. Please contact your uh, life insurance agent or con contact us so that we can help you um, acquire the coverage that you need. That was a good commercial. <laughs> Thanks for being Thank on, you. Ron. I appreciate Thank it. Good Christian man, and uh, if you want more information about how to reach him, I want you to uh, get, just give us a call or email us at email me, and we will get you in touch with Ron Checky. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with our next, next guest coming up very shortly. your business in these competitive times can be tough. You need to use everything possible to stand out in the crowd. Your vehicle is an asset most companies overlook when advertising. Now you can promote just like major companies by wrapping your vehicle with eye-catching graphics. Frog Skin Graphics wraps boats, cars, trucks, and buildings. No job too large or small. Full color banners, window graphics, and signs designed, printed, and installed by professionals. 683-9595. Welcome back to A Better Life, and uh, I tell you what, we're starting off the year with a really good show. We had uh, a couple of good segments, but this next one I think is something that's a little unique to our show because we're actually going to talk to an individual that has a good testimony about uh, believing in yourself through Christ and, uh, and, and pulling yourself up and making something of your life. Uh, welcome to my show, Tracy Kelly. Tracy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Good to meet you. Uh, you attend what church? Bethany. You, Tim Bethany. Yes, sir. And you uh, basically you caught my attention because I live in a motor coach, and you said that you uh, you have a business that uh, you help people make a decision whether or not they want Direct TV, Cox, or Dish TV. Right? You, That's you correct. actually rep all three na nationwide around the country. Yeah, well, the specializing direct, in motor coaches or RVs. I do. RV Services Group is one of my companies, and and I'm an entrepreneur, so I have multiple companies. Right. Um, but. Direct TV and Dish. How come I can't get the uh, Direct TV, to, uh, the double receiver on an RV? Um, in a motion, you know, I, I have I have the motion thing on top of the bus. Right. I have, they they keep saying, oh, you gotta go to Dish TV. You can't use Direct TV and get the get all the channels with the double. Have they come out with the double LMB yet for the top of the motor coaches? Actually, they do. They're compatible with both. It may be that you have to 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 have something to make it compatible because we do the view in motion as well. So, um, so it has the, the dual LMB. Yes, yes, and 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 you know we can we we'll can help anybody with the show. I want to see this product. Damn, I mean, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. From tripods, you know, if you oh, need for tailgating. Want to, I don't want to. I don't want to mount on the ground. I, I, <laughs> I, want, I mean, <laughs> you know, when you got a motor coach, I mean, you want to go. So, uh, yeah. All right. That's we'll talk cool. about that later. Let's talk a little bit about how you started. You said that um, you basically sweat equity. What was your first thing that you and your wife uh, made the decision? What 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 turned your life around? Saying. We can do this on our own. Well, you know, I worked. I have a diverse background. I've worked in the music industry. My wife worked in radio for a long time, so she went to Northwestern for graphic arts, and so we had a lot of uh, background, I guess, in in the arts. Um, but I 
constantly went to different seminars, people like Jim Rohn and uh, Zig Ziglar, who uh, I'm sorry, just passed away, but um, constantly self-help, trying to figure out how to, how to make it in business, how not to just work for somebody but work for myself. But after uh, a period of time of doing that, I realized that I was, even though I had grown up in denominational church and, and, and went up and said the prayer of, of faith several times, I realized I was still walking in sin. I was drinking heavily and uh, in, my, in my past, uh, in the musical career, I'd been in, involved in drugs and things like that. And I realized when I came to Bethany with my wife, we kind of landed there as, as uh, uh, an invite from a guy that I was working for who mm -hmm. has become my, my business mentor. Uh, and I realized that I really wasn't saved because I was still walking in sin. And if you haven't taken that first step to repent of your sins, then how can you say that you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master? True. And so that day uh, at Bethany, me and my wife both ended up truly making that commitment. And I never Things drank changed. again, <laughs> never did any more drugs, quit cursing. I mean, you know, there's, I'm not perfect. There's times in Baton Rouge traffic where you may well, you uh, know, you know, utter the word that imagine. you think you forgot. But <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, it's not, not something that's in so my So what was the first anymore. business that you started? Um, well, I was working in the, uh, the RV industry doing the direct TV. Uh, I had previously worked in franchise. You bought that franchise? I ended up buying the franchise, uh, and I actually worked it out. I didn't have to spend really any money out of pocket. And well, if you uh, deliver sales, and they're pretty well willing to give it to you. That's exactly right. And so I was in, a, in you know, uh, fortunate enough to be able to pay it off, and and that led to other businesses. What uh, other businesses? I understand the internet or something. You're talking. Yeah, about? we we've, we've actually started a lot of websites. Um, we. Uh, also work in internet and social media marketing. And, and we're do you use one and one for the for your clients, or you know, to, to set up websites? You use we actually uh, have a team, and 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 you know, really, this uh, that's one thing that I wanted to say is none of the success that I have, you know, gathered. There was a little background in learning, uh, you know, from from different people, but all of the success that me and my wife have had has been since we got saved. We went from living in a little 600 square foot apartment. Uh, fighting quite a bit to actually, you know, not drinking, not smoking, not cussing. Mm -hmm. uh, seven businesses just miraculously kind of landed our way. And at the same time, um, you know, we had a team of people that came in and started, you know, providing, you know, through the church, mm -hmm. uh, coaching and, and accountability and, and mentorship. And uh, God has enabled us to even move in ministry. Yeah. Got so, you, you know, track. prison ministry and all these other things voluntarily that I may have never been able to do uh, just kind of naturally fell into our lap. So we're just so thankful that number one, Jesus empowered us, sure. and, and number two, that we have a support team to help us. Uh, you know, as a as a quote unquote CEO, I can't say that, that so I'm the one that your recommendation that did it. then is you know not only is the church give you spiritual advice and you can find Jesus and you can change your life for a better as far as his drinking and everything else. It Absolutely. Is. But you also started your businesses because of the people you met in church. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all a result of the team that I believe Christ put in place in our life. He had a better life planned for us. We Absolutely. just had to be able to walk into it and, and let him be in the driver's seat instead of trying to drive it ourselves. Thanks for being on the show. I appreciate Thank you. It. So, there's your lesson for the week, folks. When you go to church, you may be just looking to sing a song or be seen because you're cool sitting in the pew. There's a lot in church for you, and you need to reach out to the people around you, start talking to them, and let them help you have a better life. Of course, Bethany invites you to join us every Saturday night and every Sunday with a couple of services. We have North Campus and the South Campus. And if you'd like more information, you, of course, can email me. That's been on the screen enough. I'm sure you know it. Write to us. We'd love to read your comments about this show. And uh, welcome to 2013. Until next time, remember, have a better life through Jesus Christ. We'll see you on the next episode.